a quick scenario on GPP AUD, I find myself here. Um, since last week, we've been monitoring GPP AUD, where we identified this reversal structure at um, this area I'm um, alighting here. And we, we said that um, we expect a signal to happen in the form of a breakout of structure, which, we not, which happened here on the 14th of April. That's one which wasn't strong enough. Then the other one happened at this point last week. And um, if you remember vividly during the course of last week's trading session, we were able to close in with some profit as we followed this move to the upside. Now price action is back at is back at the key level, which is also the neckline, which also shares a confluence with the um, with the bullish trend line we identified on the four hours time frame. So with this information in mind, and our key level being um, 1.75, 1 1.7600. Yes, let me label it. Key level at 1.7600 um, top. Then we just place it at the center. I think center is okay. So we have our key level here. And prices back into that key level and the key level also shares a confluence with the bullish trend line that we've identified here on the four hours time frame so if we scale down to a much lower time frame say the one hour time frame we want to look for structures that support a bullish continuation to the upside and if we go to the daily time frame and we'll notice that um, since the breakout that happened on the 21st of April here price has continued to reject that level as we can see price came back to this level rejected it before it moved to the upside then finally came back to that same level again at this point in time so what does this mean here this to me is a scenario that we have a very strong demand zone around this area so let me give my demand zone demand zone green i think green is appropriate for our demand zone then we have um, inside yes then let's give this a light green as well good so we have the demand zone here that we're looking forward to as we can see this zone has been consistent since um whenever price breaks out of that neckline which is also serving as our key level so in this regard once i saw this i saw this structure i placed a pending two pending order at this point one at 1.76540 and the other one at 1.766 somewhere 7660 are about so where is going to be our take profit target now if i scale down to first of all the first thing i will look at is this we have a, an impulse leg here an impulse leg here we had a correction of the impulse leg and we look for continuation so we want to project an extension of that impulse leg in the form of a fibonacci extension and if this pull out our fibonacci extensions to tool and we pick up the length of the impulse leg we will be having somewhere around the 127.2 area as our take profit target so we shall be looking at this area as our take profit target. So with this regard, I will I will place I will light this area as our profit target one. Then um, there is okay. Let me let me pull this. Out. Let me let me trace this. Out. And that's like um, an over that's over three hundred pips there about. However, if we want to look at a short term perspective on this one, if we go to the four hours time frame. We want to identify this neckline, the, uh, sorry, this trend line. We want to look at, um, find a pro propose or project a channel into this area. And if we project a channel into this area, our take profit target is going to be around here. So let me choose this place as a, as a, as a mid-term um, potential target, which is around... Um, see let's see let's see let's see which is around um, 240 pips thereabout 
around 240 pips there about and then let's see what happens as price action is being monitored on this one um please rest assured i shall always ensure to keep to give updates at the at the in the comment section below my trading view account and before i go i would like to also state where our stop loss is going to be at this point in time and if we look at we take a take of target of around 240 pips um approximately once a take profit target of around 50 pips and that's like a ratio of um, one to 4.5 there about so let's see how price action react at this point in time and i'll i'll keep you updated as we monitor action in the market do have a wonderful day and best of luck cheers